How's it been so far, first few trips? Oh, it's it's uh, been fun. It's awesome to get out here and get to see a lot of, uh, this is great wrestling country here, so I get to see a lot of different uh, wrestling friends and family and, and guys that are in our community and come up and support our team, so that's pretty cool. And it's, it's great to spend some time with the coaches, you know, being a young coach, uh, head coach myself. I love getting a chance to get on the bus and talk to these guys about some of the different things going on in, in their programs and bounce ideas off them and learn that way and, and get to know them a little bit more on a, a personal level as well because once you get into your season, you're so busy, you're kind of doing your thing most of the time. And you talked about the wrestling community in Southeast Minnesota. There's, there's a lot of a lot of good wrestlers in this area, but from a college coach's perspective, what, how do you see the wrestling community down here? Um, just the support they give down here is, is amazing. You know, there's a lot of events down here, whether it's youth all the way up to the high school um, level. You know, you, you look at the Clash or the Christmas tournament, and there's the Min, Min USA State Tournament, NYWA, and just a lot of great, uh, great people that support the, the wrestling program there. And so. It's awesome. We get a chance to come down here next week. We got the world team trials down here, so we'll send a lot of our senior level guys that are trying to make the world team, and a lot of our college guys are trying to make a world team. We'll be right back here next week, and that's uh, it's because of the support of the community that wrestling, you know, wants to bring events here. Caden Steffen from Zabrota is going to be up there next year. What do you like about Caden's game? Uh, great person, number one. He's a hard worker, uh, great wrestler. So uh, their family's great. You know, they've been around wrestling their whole lives and stuff. But uh, just excited to get him up there and get a chance to work with him. Um, I know he's going to work hard and do great things. And it's a tough sport. And especially when you wrestle in the Big Ten, it's by far the, for wrestling, it's the toughest conference in the con country. And you need to have tough kids that are going to make it through that type of grind. And he's a kid that can do that. Brent Olson from Grand Meadow, he's someone who's in your room right now. What do you like about Brent and what have you seen from him from, you know, when he first got to camp and now at this point? Yeah, you know, I've seen a lot of growth from him. I know in high school he did a lot of different sports. Um, you know, his father was a phenomenal wrestler as well, and so he comes from a great um, family uh, following wrestling. And um, um, right now he's done a really good job. I've seen him development a lot over the last, uh, this last year with us. And so he's a great kid. Again, uh, that's the biggest thing. He's like, we, we try not to just go out after kids that are the best, you know, athletes are the best wrestlers, you want to look at the whole package to make sure you're getting kids that are going to complement your program. And Brent is a, a great individual, and we're excited to have him a part of the team. Does he still have super long hair? Yeah, we, we cut it down a little bit. So, yeah, we told him <laughs> you always have the ponytail there, football, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we said, you got to shorten that hair up. So, no. so it, it, it's shorter than it was, yeah, no doubt about it. Good so. deal. And you have a roster guy, too, Miles Patton, I believe. And so, yeah. How's, yeah. How's he progressing in? Miles has done great. You know, he had a chance for us last year to come out and, and compete in uh, a couple of duels for us late in the year um, with an injury, and he filled in and did phenomenal, nearly upset a very high-ranked guy um, in the country. And so um, he's a great person, hard worker. I mean, he's dedicated to what he's doing um, in our team. I know he's uh, been an impact, a big, important part of some of our guys having success that they've had right now. So he's uh, knocking on the door. He, truthfully, that's one of the things in the sport of wrestling that anybody can can be the guy and be successful they come in there's all the resources are at the university of minnesota and it's amazing the coaching staff we have um, the senior level athletes that i talked about trying to make world olympic teams it's phenomenal and he comes in there and he battles with those guys he makes them better and they make him better and so he's doing a great job um, you know our upcoming uh, recruiting class we're really excited about it's the arguably the top recruiting class in the country um, you know half of them are in-state guys and we got some guys from out of state um, you know, you, we've talked about a couple of them right now that are that are coming in. Gable Stevenson's another one everyone's been talking about. Um, Three-time world champion, very exciting. Um, potentially could wrestle for the for the Gophers right off the bat next year, depending on if we're going to redshirt him or not. But he'll be back down here next week as well, and he's going to wrestle to try to make the junior world team. But he's also going to wrestle in the senior uh, uh, challenge tournament. So it's pretty unique. He's going to be wrestling in two tournaments at the same time, uh, and he's only a 17-year-old kid wrestling at the uh, at the heavyweight division against uh, the best in the U.S. at the senior level. It's pretty amazing. So I know everyone's excited to watch him compete and continue to grow. So a lot of good things going on. New facilities coming up. Uh, that starts, uh, should be finished sometime uh, mid or late October. And uh, we're leaving the dungeon, coming back upstairs. But we're going to bring some of that hard-nosed uh, toughness and tradition that we're down there back up in the, the new facility. But a lot of great things going on at the University of Minnesota, not just uh, with the wrestling program, but all the sports with that athletes village and stuff. So it's a great time. We're excited to continue to bring recruits and kids on campus, and uh, good good things happening. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate yeah, the time. Thank you so much.